guys, if you've ever wondered how to turn your pure copper jewelry from this bright and shiny copper to a more antique look like this, then I'm going to show you how to do that today. We'll be using liquid liver of sulfur. I like to use this brand, Beadsmith. I've always used it. It works really well. So using this, you can give your, your jewelry like a really cool defined antique look, and it's really simple to do. You're just gonna take about a cup of hot water. I just put normal tap water in the microwave for about a minute. Take your gel, and I just use the end of an old fork. The tools that you use to do this, you don't wanna reuse it for anything else because the stuff is kind of gross. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on the edge of my fork and mix it in. So I just use an old copper wire and I hook it on and this will oxidize really quickly. Okay. After we dip it in the water, we're going to have another container of baking soda water that we'll dip it in. So this is my bowl. It's just tap water with a little bit of baking soda. This will neutralize the chemical process of the oxidation. So we'll just take our piece. Copper oxidize, oxidizes really quickly. So I just dip it in for a little bit, check the progress. I like for mine to be kind of like a really dark brown, kind of like that. Most people like for it to be solid black, but that's just never really worked well with my style. Same for the moon, dip. You can see the different colors it goes through. There we go. And silver will take a lot longer than copper, so I usually just like to leave it in there for a little bit. So while we're waiting, I'll show you how easy it is to polish this off and finish your pendant. So just grab a towel. I like to keep my pendants in the water until I'm ready to polish because once they dry off, it's a lot harder to get this um, excess patina off. And it's always worked well for me. I haven't had any bad results storing my jewelry in water until I'm ready. I wouldn't do it for an entire day, but for my work time, like for about an hour, I think it's all right. So this is a pro polishing pad. As you can see, it's quite used, but that's all right because this is going to come off either way and then I'll do a final polish with a new one. So these you can find on Amazon, on Rio Grande, you can maybe find them online. A lot of people use still wool but I've just never been a big fan of it because those little hairs they get everywhere and I was finding rust stains on my sink, my clothes, the floor and even worse it would get caught in these little cracks in my jewelry. And if you don't take them out immediately, those rust stains, it'll stain the wire and it just doesn't look good. So I got tired of that happening and I just use these. All right, as you can see, quick and easy. If you have a more detailed piece or a more delicate piece, this process could actually take the same amount of time as it takes to make it. So you do want to keep this in mind if you plan on selling your jewelry, you need to count like how much time it takes for you to patina and polish your creations. Okay, let's check on the silver piece. Yes, that's a solid black, like I like it for silver. We'll dump that in there. We're done with the stinky egg solution. All right, we have our little moon. So what I do after I do the first polish is I set these to the side and let them dry fully. And then I'll do a final polish with a fresh polishing pad. Okay. 
Also, you may want to wear gloves while you're polishing if you don't want your fingers turning black. I always forget to do that until I take photos later in the day and I regret not doing it. All right, and for the silver one, I find silver to be a bit harder to polish. It takes a bit more time. But I love the way it looks. All right, so this one has a few corners and edges where it's hard for me to get the polishing pad. So what I do, I take that and a toothpick. And it helps me to really scrub those little edges and corners. This is the way that I've always polished my jewelry. I've never learned how to use a Dremel, but that is something that I'd like to learn and share with you guys. And there it is. So I hope you guys learned something watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. Have a great day, everyone. So once you're finished with the liver of sulfur solution, you'll need to neutralize it before you can dispose of it safely. So you can simply just put a lid on it. And within about 24 hours, or what's this color? Is no longer yellow and the water is completely clear again you can just dispose of it in your sink or to speed up the process you can just add some baking soda and that'll help neutralize it more quickly